Hello, my fellow project managers. I hope you're doing well. Today, I wanted to give you a quick idea about how to get back on the wagon for your PMP exam. Some of you have it before the year runs out and you're wondering, how do I master what I need to? Now, to be quite honest with you, everyone is different, right? Some students need more effort than others. Some students need more video, more instruction, more handholding than others. But I have found a line of best fit over a period of years I've been doing this. And there are a few tips I have for you. Some of them are videos. Some of them are free. Some of them you might have to grab from our website. Like this one right here is free. This is the PMP exam content outline videos. It would be unfortunate not to take advantage of some awesome free material. So why don't you hit that link? This link is going to help you to master what exactly the PMP exam content outline is saying. If I were you, I would click that link and I'm gonna put all the links in the comments so that all you need to do is click the link and it'll take you straight to what I'm referencing, all right? So again, uh, PMP exam content outline, if you take a look at that, this is it right here. And this page has free video. All of those videos, they're all free. You can watch what exactly every single process group in the content outline is talking about. You see that? See all that video? All that stuff, totally free. Totally free for you. Um, highly advise you to take advantage of that. Okay. So that's the first one. So if you're getting your exam before the end of the year, maybe you've tried the exam before, you didn't succeed, you can use this page to find your bearings and, and recalibrate and go in for the kill next time. Kill the exam, ace the exam. All right, the next page here, this is the power review. Now for this, you need to go to our website. You need to go to our website or just hit the link vimeo.com forward slash on demand PMP power or PM power. You hit that link, it will take you again to where you can sign up for an extremely robust course. And it's extremely rapid. Let's take a look at what we have here. So in this PMP exam power review, my goodness, we've got a treasure trove of content. You can see the duration is one day and 10 hours. That's Wow, that's 34 hours of content. And very recently, I have put some additional content right here at the bottom. If we scroll down to the bottom, you can see I've put three really beefy episodes, PMP Exam Power Review 1, 2, and 3 that were recorded in December. And these are very current on there. I'm showing you how to solve situational questions. I'm taking you through the PMP um, exam, 49 processes for your exam extremely rapidly. If I were you, I wouldn't waste a minute. That is a must get. Um, here we have a few bits and pieces on uh, some isolated topics like Agile. Um, we have a mock exam of one hour that is there with instructions on how to get it. And we have some other episodes of power reviews that are just four hours a piece. If you stayed on it, think about it. If you stayed on it for five more days and you put in five hours at least, six hours at least, you can cover majority of this information and get very, very confident for your exam, all right? So that's the second link. That's the power review. The third link is the CRISP Tech Camp. If you have limited time and you're weak in communications, resources, integration, stakeholder and procurement, that is the package you need to get. Just hit the link and go there. The next one is a Iron Tech Camp. If you've got limited study time, and you're weak in schedule, cost, scope, risk, and quality, you want to go to that one. So let me just open up this one, uh, which we call the Iron Tech Camp. And uh, there you can see, if you go to the Iron Tech Camp, the duration for this is, wow, 24 hours, one day. You see, treasure trove of content, just real great content to help you master the more technical areas of your exam. All right, let's see what we've got next. Okay, so that's the Iron Tech Camp. Let me go to the one before, just in case you're curious. The Crisp Tech Camp, let's see how many hours this one has. 
Crisp Tech Cam has got 14 hours, 25 minutes. Still a treasure trove of, of stuff. And you do know that integration is 25% of your exam. And I, I hear from a lot of people, I'm glad I took the Crisp. I'm glad I took the Crisp. So that might be one that you want to you wanna go for. If you're weak in integration, stakeholder, communications, uh, resources, procurements. All right, the next one is the Pembok Mainline video. This is free. Hit the link to watch that on YouTube. The next one is the mainline video two. Again, this is free. Just hit the link. You can watch that on YouTube. It's going to help you cement your understanding of how things are interconnected. This one is called Rules for Answering PMP Exam Questions. Uh, this was put out weeks ago. Again, it's free. It's going to help you master rules to help you on the exam. 25 things to know for your PMP exam. Again, it's free. Sonia, one of our students, put out both these rules for answering and 25 things to know. And I presented them. So a huge shout out to Sonia for that. Uh, next one is the PMI PMP mock exam. It's free. Many people have trouble finding it, but if you bought it from PMI's website and they claim they've sent it to you, you want to check your email or your spam because the instruction email may be hiding there. Now watch this. Let me say this up front and close because I know a lot of people, they are going to look a gift horse in the mouth. In other words, they're going to look and say, oh, is this really good? Is this really something that I could, you know, find as much value from? What does my expression say? Seriously, PMI gave you this mock exam for free and you are not serious about what the originator of the exam gave you. I don't feel sorry for anyone who refuses to be serious with this exam, this mock exam. You need to take this mock exam, pound this mock exam until it's mush, until you are all over it. So if you've been playing Russian roulette with your exam prep and saying, oh, that PMI exam, I don't know if I'm going to, seriously, you don't know if you're going to take it? This is, in my opinion, it's the worst of the exams, which makes it the best, the worst in that. It's a very annoying exam, very annoying. You almost get to a point where you could put money on an option, but you realize because of one word you missed or one concept you got wrong, your answer is wrong. That is how the real exam is. Now, for those of you that haven't watched Robin talking about her experience, I think that's playing right now on our YouTube channel. She talks about how she had given up and said, I failed it. That's it. I'm going home. <laughs> I failed it come to realize she did pass the exam, you see? But she had taken this PMI mock exam that I had preached about so much, she took it three times. No wonder she did well on the real thing and didn't even know she did well. So if there's one thing you must do out of everything I listed, it's this ridiculous mock exam. And I know it's gonna help you, but you need to take it until you are comfortable and getting in the high 90s. If you're not getting in the high 90s, you've not really mastered it. You need to. All right? Enough said, my friends. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, I'm going to put a link to all of this great information, all of these links, many of them free. Uh, some of them you need to pay for them, but it's going to help you. All right? So do what you need to do, right? No one else can do it for you but you. Take care. Bye for now.